Hey, fun fact enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of carnivorous plants, and in particular, the mysterious Venus flytrap. Get ready for a wild ride as we uncover some amazing facts about this unique and carnivorous green beauty. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our exciting episodes. Now, let's get into it. The Venus flytrap, or Dionea mesipula, is native to the wetlands of North and South Carolina in the United States. These fascinating plants thrive in nutrient-poor soils and have evolved a unique method to supplement their diet. Unlike most plants that rely on soil for nutrients, Venus flytraps have adapted to supplement their diet by catching and digesting insects. The modified leaves of the Venus flytrap resemble a pair of jaws, complete with sensitive trigger hairs. Now, let's talk about how the Venus flytrap catches its prey. When an unsuspecting insect, like a fly or spider, lands on the leaves and touches the trigger hairs, the plant snaps shut in just a fraction of a second. This rapid movement is one of the fastest in the plant kingdom. Once the trap is closed, the Venus flytrap secretes digestive enzymes to break down the insect and absorb essential nutrients. This process takes about 5 to 12 days, after which the trap reopens, revealing the indigestible parts of the prey. Interestingly, the Venus flytrap is selective about its meals. The trap won't close if it's touched only once. It requires at least two touches within 20 seconds, or five touches in total, to trigger the closure. This helps the plant avoid expending energy on false alarms like raindrops or debris. While these plants are fascinating, they face some conservation challenges. Habitat destruction, poaching, and overcollection for the horticultural trade are threatening some Venus flytrap populations. Efforts are being made to protect their natural habitats and regulate trade to ensure their survival. Venus flytraps also undergo seasonal changes. During the winter, they enter a dormant state, and their leaves may die back. However, as spring arrives, fresh leaves emerge, poised to capture insects once again. If you're thinking about cultivating a Venus flytrap at home, keep in mind that they have specific care requirements. They need acidic, well-draining soil, high humidity, and plenty of sunlight. Avoid using tap water, as they prefer rainwater or distilled water. And there you have it, fun fact enthusiasts. The Venus flytrap, a truly remarkable carnivorous plant. From its unique adaptation for catching prey to its selective eating habits, there's so much more to discover about this green wonder. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below with your favorite carnivorous plant facts. Until next time, stay curious.